TMA is a relatively infrequent or rare complication of stem cell transplantation, but in the last years we have observed it is a little bit increasing and we are not exactly sure why. And in this talk, I analyzed all the present knowledge on that complications and its possible physiopathology and the possible uh, um, developing events or risk factors. And after that, we analyze all the therapeutic possibilities that exist to treat these complications. There are, um, all them uh, are very few known because they are relatively new agents and um, we are not sure about its real, this exact uh, effect on this complication. And for that reason, it uh, takes uh, sense to make a session on that, analyze one after the other all the uh, factors that we can use in the different forms of this complication. The, the classical one is to suppress or to stop the agents that usually can trigger this complication. For example, the calcineurin inhibitors, cyclosporin, uh, tacrolimus, serolimus as mTOR uh, inhibitor. This is the first step. This is, an, is relatively easy, but in the severe thrombotic angiopathy, this is not enough and you need to use other uh, methodologies. And then uh, in this part, we talk about the plasma change. We talk about rituximab as a possible agent. We talk about defibrotide, and we talk about eculizumab. Is the all the, the, the molecules that apparently can be uh, useful to treat, depending the form of thrombotic mechanical because not all the thrombotic mechanical are the same. And then you need to analyze very carefully which type of thrombotic mechanical in order to try to choose the best treatment for this patient.